In this video, we're going to look at making that vinyl scratch effect, that scratching sound that you may hear a DJ using on a set of turntables. We're going to make that sound, that effect, using the noise oscillator in Serum. It's a nice innovative way to use the noise oscillator. So how do we make this vinyl scratch DJ effect in Serum? First of all, I'll give you a flavor of what it sounds like, and then I'll tell you the key idea behind making this thing. So it sounds a little bit like this. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? And it's all using the noise oscillator in a creative way. So what we'll do, we'll load up the initial preset and then I can best demonstrate this key concept behind the sound. So initial preset, we will turn off oscillator A because we're purely using the noise oscillator. So we'll turn on the noise oscillator. And then if we choose one of these sounds, now I find it works best with this particular one called rising, then check this out. Notice what happens when I'm holding down the note and I play with this phase parameter. Oop, let's turn up the level a bit so you can hear it a bit louder. Hear that? As I'm varying the phase, we're getting this cool scratching effect. How cool is that? And it actually makes sense when you think about it because what this phase parameter does remember is it varies the initial position we start playing back this sample from. So if you imagine changing the start position of the sample as you're playing the sample through, Effectively, as you're playing the sample through, you're moving back and forwards through that sample as you're playing it, which is exactly what happens when you're doing scratching on a set of DJ turntables. You're moving through the sound as it's playing, so that's why it sounds like a scratching sound. Now you can choose other noises to get similar effects, so as I flick through a few of these guys. That gives you a similar one. That gives you a different spin, and so on. So depending on what sort of scratch you want, you can choose a different sound. But the key idea is that, that we want to modulate the phase of this noise sample as we're playing a sound. So I like rising. And it's literally down to us how we want to do it. So we could set up, say, an envelope on it. So let's say envelope two, and we will assign that to the phase. And then it's just a case of dialing in exactly how that modulation happens. Maybe we want to have it be more of a one shot for the main envelope. Maybe let's go the other way. It takes some dialing in. But that's the idea. You can see for this main envelope one, we have a zero sustain. We've changed the decay time and made it look like so. So as we trigger a note, it's a simple one shot. A similar length to the main envelope controlling this scratch. You can see faintly behind it. We have envelope two that's controlling the scratch faintly behind. So you can line up envelope one, which is the overall amplitude envelope with the modulation envelope behind it, envelope two. And there you go, that is essentially the idea. As a nice little bonus, it can be quite cool to actually turn on the keyboard follow or the key tracking button. So depending on what button we press on the keyboard, that will control the pitch or how the sound comes out. So if I press say a high note or a low note, it's a slightly different pitch. So we can choose a different note on the keyboard to get a slightly different tuning for this sound. Although it's not a tonal sound, so broadly speaking, we can't tune this to our track, but we can still pitch it up or down. And there you go, that is how we can make a vinyl scratch effect with the noise oscillator. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.